Hi, uh, my name is Ethan. In this series of tutorials, I am going to teach you how to make a game or just a project in Unity Engine 2D. So Unity is a game engine where you can create your own projects and publish them for other people to play or just for you to learn about uh, the game development prog uh, process and C-sharp coding. So Unity runs on C-sharp and that is going to be the, the language that I'm going to be explaining in this series. So to start off, I'm going to assume that you already have Unity installed and make sure that you have the version that's 2020.3.15 and it has LTS, which means long-term support. So make sure that you have this version right here. Uh, I have a separate version that uh, used to be the latest, but then I switched over to this one, which is now the latest as of recording this, this video. Uh, so uh, if you go over to projects, um, this is going to be the screen where you create uh, new projects from templates like 2D, 3D, among other things. So I already have a project here. This is just going to be a blank canvas. If you want to make your own project, you can click New. And then you can choose 3D, 2D, High Definition RP, or Universal Render Pipeline. Uh, for simplicity, I'm going to be choosing 2D because that's the one I'm most familiar with and it's the easiest one to start off with. Now for the project name, I generally like to choose something simple, like uh, you know, test project or my first project. So it should be concise, but it should also be uh, clear in what the project is. Because over time, you're going to create a lot of projects after playing around with Unity for weeks and months and years. So I like to organize the names of my projects to be short, but I also like it to be really clear what they are. So this right here, like new Unity project, is probably a bad example, but I just made it just to speed things up. So once you've done that, you click new, you did, you chose 2D and give it a name, you can just click create, and the entire Unity hub, which is where this is right now, is going to disappear a different image like is going to pop up that's basically going to be like the loading screen so for now let's say we've already created the projects so i'm just going to enter it now so uh, when the project is created at first it's going to take a while to load it up but once that's done it's it should take like no time at all to load it up just like here. So to start off, it's important that uh, you learn how to actually use the interface because it does seem a little bit overwhelming at times. There's so many things happening on screen and it's easy to get confused or lost. So just to start with, uh, I'm going to introduce the scene view, which is this view in the center that I'm moving around right now. So this scene view is where you're going to place everything in the game that's like uh, visual on the screen. So let's say you have a player character that's going to be moving around and you have a map and you have props. Those are going to be what's uh, visible and present in the scene view. Now you can see scene up in, up in here and right next to it you can see the word game. So the game view is going to be appear different from the scene view usually. The game view is what the player and themselves are actually seeing. So uh, when you play a game, like let's say Mario, the camera is following Mario around and you don't see the map at all times. So that, for example, would be the game view. But if you were to zoom out and look at the game from a sort of like God's eye view, that would be the scene view. So the scene view is where you're actually going to be editing and placing things. And the game view is mostly for you know, testing out the game and debugging. The game view is what's actually going to be running while you actually try to play the game and make sure it works. 
So now uh, to the left of the scene view is the hierarchy. Now everything here is just the default layout, so it shouldn't look different from what I have here. In the hierarchy, it's going to be where all the it's going to be like a column of all of the objects that are in the scene. So you know the only thing I have here is main camera. So the camera is the only object that you start off with, and that's why it's in the hierarchy. Because if you look at the center of the screen, there's literally a camera in the scene view. So the camera is also going to be present in the hierarchy. Uh, so that is where things in the game are going to be. Uh, at the bottom of the screen is the project window. The project window is where you're going to store all your assets, like your textures and your particles and your prefabs. I'm going to explain what you know prefabs are later. But for now, the project view down here is just going to be another place where you store stuff and where you're going to drag them into the game view or into the hierarchy later. Right? So now let's talk about how to actually put things into the game. There are multiple ways to put things into the game, but the most direct and most immediate way is to right click in the hierarchy. Uh, so now you're going to see a big menu. The main thing that we're going to worry about now is 2D objects, since we're in 2D. We're going to select sprites, and then we're going to select square. So now this square is in the scene view, and you can see that a new window should have popped up on the right, or some information that has popped up on the right. That is the inspector window. The inspector window is basically the window that shows you all of the necessary information about an object that you've selected in the scene. So in this case, I've created the square, and then I've and then once that square was created, it automatically selected it for me. And now the square's information, all its properties, have been displayed on the right in the inspector. But in the, in the inspector, there's useful information like the transform of the object. The transform of an object is its position, rotation, and scale. So, you know, if I move the square around in the scene view, if you watch the position in the, on the right, you'll see that it changes as I move it. So the transform is the, of the square is going to be very useful for us if we ever want to move the square or rotate it or scale it up, like make it bigger or make it smaller. Now, uh, in the inspector is also other stuff like sprite render and materials. So these are called components, right? So transform is one component, sprite render is a different component. These components are the building blocks of every object in the game, right? If we select main camera, there's another transform component on it because every object in the game is going to have some rotation, some position, and some size. And then it also has a camera component because it's a camera. It you the camera component is how you change properties like the size of the camera's view, right? If I change size over here, uh, you'll see that in the scene view it gets bigger and smaller. So let me reset that back to 5. If we go to square, if I change the scale of it in the x direction, uh, you can see it getting wider. So that's something that you can do with the components. The components in the inspector window are going to be something that you're going to be interacting with really frequently. So let's say you need to move the square from here over to here. Well, you're going to have to go into your code and you're going to have to change the transform of the square. So that's why these components are really essential to understanding and to getting a good grip on what they are, what they do. And another thing is that you can actually add more components to every object that you want more functionality for. So for example, if I want this square to have physics, well, physics is built into Unity, and it's really nicely packaged up. So if you click Add Component, and then you can start typing, like, let's say, rigid. Right? That's going to search it up for rigid body. And rigid body 2D is basically a, way, a component that gives an object physics.
So gravity, mass, friction, drag, that sort of things. And this allows it to start having collisions and detect collisions with other objects in the game. So now one more thing uh, before I end this tutorial, the first tutorial, is that uh, speaking of you know translating and moving the square, we're also going to need to actually code it somewhere. Now Unity, if you installed Unity already, it, it, you should have installed something called Microsoft Visual Studio Community 2019. Uh, Visual Studio is an integrated development environment, an IDE, which is basically where you're going to be putting your code, where you're going to be writing the code and then implementing it into the game. Uh, if you don't have Visual Studio like in your engine right now, uh, you can go to Edit and then click Preferences, and then in Preferences you should be at External Tool, right? And then over here, it should say external script editor. You should change this. You, yeah, you, so you should click that, select Visual Studio Community 2019. And then if you want to add a script now, you can right click down here in, in the project window. This is also somewhere where you can you know, create all sorts of things. For now, we're going to be creating a C sharp script. And then look at that, we have a C-sharp script. So if I want to open this up, I just double click. So Visual Studio is going to open up, and there it is. So this is where pretty much everyone is going to be when they start their Unity journey on developing games. Uh, I'm just going to X out of this. So that is a very basic but an essential overview of Unity's most fundamental components and how to start making games in Unity. Thank you.